Hey guys, D3CR chest rig reboot time. So I know we haven't done a video in a long time about it, so we're going to uh, update it and talk to you about some of the updates that we've done to the system itself and some of the accessories that you can get for them and explain them a little bit more in depth and also show you some things that are coming out that uh, in the very near future. So the chest rig, it's obviously gained a lot of popularity. There's tons of them out there. and We've got a lot of questions. Um, one of the biggest questions that we have because it was specifically designed for the end user military requirement for Mayflower velocity plate carrier systems. Now, if you don't have a swift clip system like this, how it attaches into the standard velocity or Mayflower or any other type of plate carrier out there, which there are some other ones out there that have the vertical channel to where you can mount that system into. If you don't have it, a great option out there is these little guys. This is a swift clip adapter kit from Downrange Gear. Okay, you can check out his website. He sells these. It's just a simple modification. You slide this down into the vertical channel, close it over, put it on the swift clip at the cut, and you're good to go. And you can mount it on any plate carrier out there that doesn't have a vertical system. So then you can get the swift clip side attachment systems from Velocity. They have a swift clip attachment system that you can buy, and it kind of they work really well together. Other question we had um, that's really big is, hey, why can't I fit my incog holster in the GP pouch anymore? So. What happened is we had a lot of requirements come in from the field of making this GP pouch a little bit bigger so we could fit more mission essential equipment into it because it was a little bit smaller. And we wanted to make a micro style chest rig that has everything on it. So what we did, we had to, to make that usability into the system. So therefore, it is now difficult to put any type of holster in there unless you custom built one for it, which is still fine. You can still do that. But instead, we decided to come up with an expansion line, which you may have seen. It's on our website. We have three different accessories for the expansion. Um, number one is a holster wedge, which I'll talk about here in a second and kind of help continue to answer the question on the, the holster issue. Um, the drop down hanger and a double mag wedge that you can put on the back. Okay, so all these things simply hook and loop or Velcro right into the back of the existing system. So there's your two mags. You can stack these as well. A lot of guys will take like an incog rifle bag because all our clocks kind of are vertical to each other. You can mount four mags if you want to, just stick them on top, slap them in a bag or put them in a range bag or something, that's a really good option. The hanger, this was kind of a general purpose pouch, you could use it for uh, medical, um, a lot of military guys like to run old fanny packs like we used to run in Force Recon. Uh, we used to put um, night vision, we'd put explosive breaching stuff into a fanny pack, so we decided, well, hey, we got a chest rig out there that's, that works pretty well and it's modular, so we can adapt this hanger anywhere we want up and down to fit you so you don't have to wear a fanny pack and get made fun of, right? So, you can run two of these systems together. If you need six mags, so some people say, hey, I'd rather run six instead of four, you can mount those in and when it contours to your chest, you can still see it keeps a nice low profile on the body when it wraps around and you've got two extra mags of heat. Back to the incog holster or any holster situation. If you have the handgun adapter, which is just this flat panel hook and loop sewn together, what we do first, we got to fit our guns. I'll show you guys how to do that since there's there could be some frustration a little bit. Hopefully not. You have a little bit of common sense, it's pretty easy. You could take a holster. We prefer using G code because it's pretty slick, wrapped, molded kydex. And you can, I take two pieces of cardboard and stick them in there. Slide that down the side so you get the, the depth that you want to where you can get your hand on the gun still and draw it quickly. Okay, once you get to that position, just pull your cardboard inserts out, squeeze it down. And you can see before I put the holster in there, you can go out and get some adhesive hook and loop tape, some Velcro from like your local hardware store, slap it on the side of your holster and seal it down. Now you don't even really need hook and loop, but if you really want a good secure fit so the holster doesn't come out, it will not come out now. And now all you do is take that system and simply Velcro it right on the back there. Okay. And now you've got an inline chest holster, just like that. So you can get into the gun and reach it, especially for vehicle operations. Uh, or if you just wanted to put this whole system in a go bag. So if you pulled it out, threw it on, you've got everything you need. All you got to grab is your carbine now. Okay, so it's a kind of an expansion line. Gives a lot of usability to something that's already uh, very popular out there. And still keeps it in a nice tight package. Okay, 
As far as color options on the D3CR, it comes in black, coyote, and multicam, and ranger green, and then a suite of Cryptek colors, Highlander, Mandrake, and Typhon. The accessory line, they come in coyote black, ranger green, which is newly added, and of course multicam. So that's pretty much it on the D3CR light, so stay tuned for the D3CR heavy, which is coming this week. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel, our Facebook, and we'll talk all about this bad boy right here. So stay sharp, be safe. Thanks for joining me. I'm Travis Haley.